Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm going to be doing a flip through of this new Alice in Wonderland themed junk journal that I just built out of a little golden book. This video is not going to be a tutorial because it took me several days to complete because I worked on it when I had time in the evenings. So I didn't film the process, but if you are looking for a little golden book junk journal tutorial, I will leave an excellent tutorial link by a fellow YouTuber um, in the description box for you. It's a video by the Boho Suitcase and a lot of the tips and tricks she showed in that video I applied to this journal right here. So I highly recommend you go check that video out if you want to learn how to build one similar to this style that I'm about to show you. So think of this video more of like a show and tell style of video where I go over my thought process, my thought process behind making the journal as well as kind of flip through the pages and share different supplies I used as well. I do have a junk journal playlist on my channel with tutorials of other styles of junk journals I've built journal with me's, supply hauls, and other journaling related videos. So I'll be sure to link that playlist down below as well as product links for supplies that I mention in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This junk journal is for signatures. It has a two inch spine and then the length of the journal is the same size as a little golden book, which is around eight inches, if I remember correctly. And I really wanted to decorate the spine in kind of like the same theme of colors or the same color scheme as the cover. So we have blue and white on the front cover to represent Alice's dress. And then this little pom-pom trim is actually from Dollar Tree. And I think it also comes in, I have white, green, and red, I believe, um, from the crafter square section. And then the green fabric underneath is also from Dollar Tree and then I have a black um, a wide black lace trim over that and those two colors represent the the darkness of the forest and all of the plants and the forest floor and for the tassel I just use a bunch of different shades of blue so I have some cording I have some eyelash trim some seam binding that matches the um closure for the journal and then I just have some other trim some yarn from Dollar Tree I also have these really cute glass beads that are mushrooms I have like a vintage button there at the top I have some smaller glass beads that I put on that cording I even have a little teacup charm which I thought was so cute for this journal and then this is a little Dollar Tree glass vial with some blue uh, glass beads and I get asked quite a bit how I attach these Dollar Tree glass vials to um, a string and there's this little eyelet that screws into the cork and I get those eyelets from Dollar Tree as well you can get them at any craft store but here is what they look like. Um, and I get these from the picture frames, or I'm sorry, not the picture frame section. Well, you can find them there too. Um, but I get these from the tool bench section. It's a little case of picture hanging tools and um, pieces. So this comes in one of those little kits by the hardware. What is the hardware line called? I, I feel like I should know this, but that's where I get those little eyelet hooks from. Again, you can get them from any craft store as well. And then Dollar Tree also sells these little glass vial bottles in the crafter square section. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to swap the one that's on the tassel right now out. I feel like it's too small. I think I want to add one of these. Um, because I want to put a drink me label on it. I think that would look super cute. You can also fill those little vials with some sequins. I've done that before. And Dollar Tree recently came out with the little vials that are already filled with glass beads. But I'm going to save those for another day. So I just want to kind of touch on that because I get asked that quite a bit. But that's how I attach them. 
And for the, the seam binding, I actually picked this up from an Etsy shop called My Scrap Cabin. And I bought a bunch of packs or bundles. So I got all of these really beautiful colors. And the color I used is called Skipper. And it just really matches the cover very well with that, um, those dark blue or navy blue plants. But I just think these look so like girly and um, like vintage looking. I like how fluffy they are. So I will leave that Etsy shop link down below. But yeah, that's where I got the seam binding from. And when you open it up, that lace trim and Dollar Tree fabric continues on the inside. There's a spot to write um, someone's name right here. And then the paper packs that I, the two main paper packs that I used for this journal. Um, one is from Joann's. It's this floral couture 12 by 12 paper pack. And then the second one I got off of Amazon and it's the Alice in Wonderland paper pack by Stamperia. If you missed my huge junk journal supply haul video that I recently posted on my channel, um, I'll go ahead and relink those things that I picked up off of Amazon down below, like the Alice in Wonderland paper pack, um, because I did use a lot of things from that haul in this journal. And when embellishing, I really tried to pick out things, not only for embellishments, but when I was actually building the journal, I really took my time picking things out that represented, I guess, Alice in Wonderland and the movie. And so like this, for instance, the dog face flowers. So I picked that out from my stickers and book pages from vintage books. I really tried to pick out um, pages that went along with the theme of Alice in Wonderland. So I have some like daffodils right here that are featured in the movie. And here is a piece of photo, a photo map piece or a journaling card from that Alice in Wonderland paper pack. I did also a lot of sewing in this journal as well. And I have some coffee dyed paper in here. And here's another example of just really taking my time picking things out with this journal. Um, for instance, like this clock, I guess scrapbooking paper represents the white rabbit because he's always concerned about the time. We have um, Twinkle Twinkle and then this bat um, <laughs> little, I guess, flash card from Dollar Tree because the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat from the movie. And then this is probably my favorite page out of this whole journal. It is a song by Pink Floyd called Time. And this is actually one of my favorite songs of all time. Um, and again, I really wanted it to, I really took my time to pick out things that would go with this journal. So Time, I chose the song Time by Pink Floyd, again, for the White Rabbit. And I did sew in a lot of different belly bands in here as well as pockets and then little fabric tabs on the side and then I have some flamingos that you can the person can use to put maybe a picture on or journal in I did some like corner belly bands and there's a lot of flamingos in here because the queen of hearts uses the flamingos in her croquet game and I took the scraps from when I was building the journal as well. So I have a bunch of like um, scraps from either like the paper packs that I used or like the book pages. I have a bunch of that stuff left over so I can kind of stuff this journal full of extra little pieces that the recipient um, can use and they can move it around. And I will be selling this journal eventually on Etsy. I, right now I'm working on a whole Disney um, Little Golden Book junk journal collection. And when I have at least five or six done, that's when I will list these um, in Etsy. And I will be sure to let you guys know. Because I just, I don't want to post one journal at a time in Etsy. I don't, I don't want to have one thing listed for sale at a time. So I am working 
on building that shop up. And then I'm also going to be doing some Zodiac journals as well. So I just tucked in again, some extra little pieces that the recipient can use. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually add a little bit more to this. I think that's the hardest part for me is like knowing when to stop because I just, I really like decorating. And I don't know if I like necessarily building and decorating the journals more than I like journaling in, in them. Um, I think I like them both the same, but there's something about just like building a junk journal that's just so, so fun. So I have a little assortment of tags right here. Again, the recipient can pull these out and use them how they like. But I wanna add some more embellishments for like, as far as the like paper clips, I think I wanna add some beads to them. I might actually go back and do that in a separate video. And I also have like this little Queen of Hearts ribbon <laughs> from Dollar Tree. The daffodils from the movie from a vintage botanical or gardening book. I have some playing cards in here. So again, I just really tried to take my time when picking things out. That's why I didn't film this um, because it does take me quite a while. I can't just sit there and build a journal out of a few things that I pick out. I really want to take my time, especially if I'm selling something, I really want to take my time and make it unique and make it make it how I would want to receive a junk journal if I purchased one. And I also included the actual book from the little golden book. And for me, that was, that is the hardest part of making these little <laughs> golden book junk journals is just keeping the book in order, the book pages in order. That's the hardest part for me. I don't know why, but that um, channel that I mentioned uh, the boho suitcase she does a really good job of explaining how to do that and make the book pages go in order so for instance the book the actual book pages from the little golden book are in only in the signatures the second and fourth signature so here we have a little tree a flash card because alice um was sitting at the tree we have some more flamingos and some more ephemera pieces in pockets for the recipient. And some more sewing, more pockets. I just really love how this turned out. This is a double pocket or double tuck spot. So, got that in there. And I really put, tried to put as, a lot of pockets or as many like tuck spots and pockets as I could in this as possible without making it too, too bulky. So I just really like how this turned out. I think it's so cute. And again, I will link all of like the things that I used that I purchased off of Amazon down in the description box. I am affiliated with Amazon. So if you do purchase something through one of my links, thank you very much for supporting me. And my channel it doesn't cost you anything extra um, to use or to purchase through one of my links. But I do get a lot of my, um, not only craft supplies, but um, a lot of journaling supplies from Amazon. I do get some from like not thrift shops, but like antique shops. I get some things from Michaels and Joann's, but I would say Amazon is probably one of my favorite places to shop for craft supplies and journaling supplies. So this is another example of just kind of taking my time when building this journal. Cause I went through like three or four different like vintage bird books and I found this Dodo bird page, which the Dodo bird is in, is in the movie. So again, I just really wanted to take my time. And then I also wanted to add some dark elements or dark pages to this junk journal, which is not really a style that I'm used to doing. I'm used to doing like very, very botanical and kind of like light, I guess, girly 
journals. This is a very girly and botanical journal, but it does have like dark elements to it throughout throughout the um the journal, which I really like because in the movie she's kind of going through this dark in in certain scenes this dark forest. So in the movie there's this flower that looks like a lion and that is this type of flower which is called I think a a pom-pom dahlia. I think that's what it's called. I have some more sewn in belly bands and I like to leave the little strings from the sewing kind of like sticking out. I just think it makes it look more junky. And I have like this little pocket that I made sewed in off to the side and the botanical page. Um, this little envelope can be used as a tuck spot. I added another little photo mat or journaling card. This one is a double pocket so you can slide things in here. So I put a little journaling card and then two more journaling cards right here. I actually could have made this a triple pocket if I wanted to. Um, but I decided just to make it like that. And some more little stickers to embellish. And I did add lots of little Dollar Tree things like this. These little pom-pom um, paper clips are from Dollar Tree. And I have some just writing paper in here. Some more of those book pages. I think it was a gar I think it was from a Better Homes and Gardens, a vintage Better Homes and Gardens um, book that I got those images from. Here's that other dodo bird, <laughs> the other side of that dodo bird page that I found. And so yeah, I have some more coffee dyed paper in here, some more pieces that the recipients can use. And I'll probably again, um, go back and add a bunch of these extra pieces in there, or I might actually put them in like an envelope and include it with the sale of the journal. Maybe not put it in here, but just put it in like a manila envelope. I forgot where we left off at. I think we were like right, right around here. Here's that trim. Okay. And we're getting into the last signature. So again, signatures two and four have the story in them. Have some more papers in here. Just really love how this turned out. Here's some more dark elements that you can really see in not only the, the movie, but also in like the book pages. The red roses for the queen. And some like dotted paper in here. Another pockets. Some more um, vintage stationery. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this journal turned out. And again, I'll let you guys know when I do like launch it on Etsy. I haven't even opened my shop yet because I am waiting just to create an inventory. But you guys will be the first to know before I even um, put these up for sale. I will let my YouTube family know um, when they're about to go up in case you are wanting to get your hands on this. But I mostly wanted to um, post this video just to kind of give you guys ideas of maybe how you can decorate or I don't know, embellish your junk journals or maybe get you get you excited maybe about learning how to make a little golden book junk journal. So that's mainly why I, I wanted to show you guys this and because I've been talking about it. Um, but that is pretty much it for this video. Again, I'm going to go back and make a few different 
changes. Like I think I'm gonna put this on a jump ring or a lobster claw. And I actually think I wanna add one more thing to the tassel. I think I'm gonna take one or two of these um, playing, mini playing cards from that Alice in Wonderland paper pack. And I think I'm going to glue it on a piece of chipboard and then add it to the tassel. I think that would look really cool. Um, on the Boho suitcase on that cha on her channel, she does mini little gold. She prints out an image of the same little golden book that she's working out of. And she just makes a mini picture and then she does that. She puts it on, I think a piece of chipboard and then attaches it to the tassel. So again, you guys go check out her video because she gives a lot of good like tips and tricks. And again, like I just applied a lot from what I learned from watching her tutorial when I built this one. So that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching and be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any uploads from me. And until my next video, I hope you guys have an amazing day and take care.